Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Pixel Studio Now You Know session where we share everything under <coughs> the sun. It's all about discovering, learning and enjoying with the rest of the team here. At the end of the sharing, we'll have a quiz. So join us and see whether you can beat the brains here. Okay, so for today, we have Claudia who will share with us some facts about... Animal Crossing. <gasps> Where's my switch? Where's my switch? <laughs> <laughs> Animal Crossing. Nice, nice. Okay, take it away, Claudia. So this is the overview. Basically, it's very general presentation about Animal Crossing. So we will be covering on what is Animal Crossing and the history of Animal Crossing. So this is Tia, one of the characters that might show up in your game. She's an elephant with an amiable personality who finds it easy to make friends. She loves tea as her name is a play on the word. So what is Animal Crossing? We're going to talk about the gameplay. So there are five main game mechanics that make Animal Crossing a very wholesome and fun game. So one of it is that it's open-ended and that you can customize the island or the village or the city and also the homes and the characters. You can also make friends with other villagers as well as play with your friends and talk to the characters in game and you can also explore the world so in some versions you can take a plane ride and in other versions you can visit dream suites where you can visit your friends dream islands and there are also in-game events that happen spontaneously like sometimes they will say join us at 7 p.m so that you can watch the fireworks something like that so Animal Crossing is a game about celebrating life and you can make friends with anthropomorphic characters, complete tasks and design your own island. So it's an open-ended game where the focus is not to win or compete with the algorithm or the other players, but it is a game where you find what you feel is your greatest sense of achievement. So even though they give you quests to follow, you actually don't have to follow them. There are no consequences if you don't do what they ask you to do. You can be free to explore the game. And the more you play, the more you can unlock tools that the game rewards you with. Like you can customize your island by removing some of the land and creating ponds or lakes. And you can also add back the land. It's sort of like adding tiles to the island so that you can always expand it or customize it. Fauna is one of the characters and she really loves nature. She wants to be a teacher and she's very good at mental math. So the customization, you can earn bells, which is the in-game currency, by planting trees, collecting fruit, and selling them. You can use this money to buy furniture and clothes. And this furniture, you can actually put them around the island so that it looks nicer and the furniture will stay there. So you can also create your own furniture by collecting materials and special in-game materials that you have to wait for a certain time. Like when there's a meteor shower, the particles from the stars will fall to the beach if you happen to make a wish at that time. And you can use these materials to make like a magic wand or something. And Marina is an octopus who enjoys making people laugh with her tongue twisters. Her name comes from the Latin phrase to come from the sea. So one of the game mechanics is to make friends. Basically, the more you make friends with your neighbors, the closer you will be to each other. So when you give them fruits, they will reciprocate by giving you a piece of clothing or something. If you give them flowers or shells or furniture, sometimes they will take it and not give you anything back. But what I find most useful is that if you give them fruits, they will usually reciprocate. Keeping up with a friendship is what keeps the player going back to the game because the closer you are, the more freebies you get. So that's a very good way to get players to keep playing. So June is a cub whose birthday is in May. She wants to be a pharmacist and she loves photography. So 
you can also explore the world. You can buy a plane ticket and visit other islands. And from the other islands, you can collect different materials. Like some islands have different kinds of fruits and different kinds of flowers or rocks and trees. So you can go there and collect these materials and plant them back on your island. So for example, you cannot get bamboo shoots to grow naturally on your island. So you have to go to other islands to harvest these bamboo shoots and then bring them back to your own island. With this service, this plane service, you can visit your friends' islands. You can also leave them messages on their bulletin boards and send them gifts. This is one of the pilots. His name is Wilbur, and his name is a reference to the Wright brothers who invented the airplane. So his brother is Orville because they're Wilbur and Orville Wright. The right brothers. Some in-game events could calculate when is the next meteor shower. If you want to catch the meteor shower, you can see what time zone you live in and on the date and the season, and they will calculate when is the next meteor shower coming. So you will always be prepared when the stars fall and you can make a wish and the next morning you can collect the stars on the beach. So another thing that happens is like you get fireworks on special occasions. And other things that can happen is that you can celebrate with sparklers with your friends. So Molly is a duck whose goal is to be a florist and her skill is drawing circles. So now it's the history lesson. It's the success story of Animal Crossing. So we'll cover the timeline of Animal Crossing, the man who created Animal Crossing, and the reasons it is successful, as well as some bonus facts at the end. You've always wanted to know that the game designer Katsuya Iguchi came up with the idea for Animal Crossing because he wanted to express his own feelings of having moved to Kyoto for the first time on his own as a university student. So Kyoto is where the Nintendo HQ is and he left his hometown of Chiba Prefecture so that he can go work at Nintendo and he realized when he went there that he had absolutely no friends because he left all his friends and family behind. So it was about starting, starting over and pursuing one's own adventure and that is what he was trying to create with Animal Crossing. So Animal Crossing has been around for 20 years. In 2001, the first Animal Crossing came out and um, in 2005, the second one was Wild World. Um, Wild World was the first game to implement Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. So with this, players could actually use Wi-Fi to play the game. So in 2008, Animal Crossing City Folk was the first game to implement Wii Speak. This means that the players can communicate to each other in the game. It is building on the Wi-Fi connection, so they made an upgrade. So in 2012, Animal Crossing New Leaf was shipped for Nintendo 3DS. It is the first time players are appointed as mayor, and it was later updated to use Welcome Amiibo cards, which is where you can choose your own neighbors when you buy the pack of cards and invite them to the game. So in 2020, New Horizons was shipped for Nintendo Switch, and it's the first console to reach 5 million digital sales in a month. It won the Best Family Game at the Games Award in 2020. So if you notice that with Nintendo Switch, Nintendo started to allow digital sales and that is why this is milestone achievement. Because Nintendo is not relying on the actual product, the physical product anymore. They are slowly evolving to launch digital sales for games. So this is Katsuya Iguchi. He's the game designer who designed the levels in Super Mario Bros. 3. He directed Star Fox and he designed the game Yoshi's Story. So he started in the late 1980s and he worked on these games before in 2001 he directed Animal Crossing. So he wanted to create Animal Crossing because after he had a family, he started working late at night and his family loves to play games. So sometimes they would still be playing games when he arrived home from work and he realized that he was playing his own games and they were playing games together, but it wasn't a shared experience. So that is why Nintendo was pushing for like Wi-Fi and connectivity 
so that more players can join the op- the shared experience of playing a game together. They don't have to play at the same time all the time, but if they can participate in each other's games or islands, they would feel more connected to each other, which builds on the idea of how lonely he felt when he left his home just to pursue his dreams. New Leaf is the most successful of the Animal Crossing games. Um, it was immensely popular among the demographic of young women between the age of 19 to 24, and many of them specifically purchased a Nintendo 3DS just to play the game. That's why it was so successful, because they actually hit two birds with one stone. So, the highest grossing sales. Um, the first four titles in the series are the best sellers in their respective consoles, which is a major achievement. And the odd failure is Amiibo Festival, which is a spin-off of the game. It is the only Animal Crossing game that is considered a failure. It only sold 87,872 copies in Japan. So, spin-off product. ColourPop just recently launched an Animal Crossing makeup line. And I think it's quite popular among YouTubers. So, espionage involvement. People in Hong Kong use the platform to protest, resulting in the game being banned in China. So, even though you cannot buy the game in China, people are still selling, not bootleg copies, but more like third-party copies. So, people are still playing the game. It's just that it's considered illegal. Bonus facts. So, the leaf logo of Animal Crossing actually symbolizes a Japanese legend where a raccoon dog or a tanuki can turn leaves into gold. That's why Tom Nook is the boss and he wears a t-shirt with leaves because he can turn these leaves into gold. And in New Horizons, there is a feature called the Dream Suite where players can visit dream islands designed by other players. The character who facilitates this is a Japanese mythological creature called a Baku who eats people's nightmares. So it's a bit scary, but they package it in a way that is quite cute. So there was actually an Animal Crossing movie that was only featured in Japan. It was a box office success grossing approximately 16 million USD. And I think you can find the film on YouTube. So if you need extra super strength to chop down trees, eating fruits will give you the maniac strength for a while. Because if you don't eat the fruits before you chop these trees, all you will get is chop some wood that you can use to craft more materials. But if you actually want to chop down the tree, you have to eat the fruits. And every day there will be a pot of money buried in the ground. If you plant money back in the hole, you can literally grow money on trees. All right, all right. ready, let's go! Okay. Animal Crossing! <laughs> so, let's see. Everyone's already in. Okay. Yes. Yep. All right. What is the objective of the game? Yo, don't know. Yo, got this wrong. Ah, wallahi. No, for Roger would be to like lie and steal because he stole my pearl. Shh. I expose you already. Don't tell. Yes, correct. Such a story. Question two: What is the in-game currency called? Oh gosh. There's different kinds though. Uh, oh, wrong answer! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I'm not listening just now. Gosh. Oh no, Shafiq. How do you make friends? Uh... Yes, correct. Yay! And fruits! <laughs> Because in the game, you cannot help other players collect buried treasure. The oh. buried treasure is only for you. It's a special game event. <coughs> I wasn't sure. No, because we were all paying attention. Right. Yeah, this one I paying attention to Meteor Shower because I like Meteor Shower. Not like you lah! <laughs> Don't take care of people! Question 5 
people go. Uh-huh. Yeah, we speak. Wow. Wow, do all those players. Got <laughs> WeChat. <laughs> WeChat. Bala. <laughs> <laughs> WeChat. That one. That one. That one. Another thing. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> WeChat is different. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh, this one I don't know. Yeah. I know. First, I know players. it's the one for the three DS. But. Um, should be the one before Horizon. It's a uh, Super Smash Bros. <laughs> Curve boss, you always point. <laughs> ah, the... mm, correct. Okay, not bad. Okay, I'm just guessing. <laughs> Actually, Roger gave a clue just now. Uh oh, it's a Indra. <laughs> Give us. Don't have spell it out. Oh, Thanks, Indra. Zaina. Did Katsuka use design? But the Super Mario Bros is the levels, right? It's not the whole game, right? Oh, right. I answered wrongly then. Oops. I got tricked. Oh, this one tricky, then. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. I, I don't have the time. I oh. can't register Yoshi's the story. Super oh. Mario Bros 3, he designed the levels. Oh. Star Fox, it's he Yoshi's directed story. the yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. So Yoshi Story, he designed tricky, tricky. the game. Did not register. Mine. And Animal Crossing, he directed the game. Yes. Yeah. You want to give Indra the point? Okay. Yes, yes, please. Super oh, Mario, no, Star Fox. Uh, what else? Uh? Oh yeah, yeah. What you Yoshi Story? Yoshi Story. Yeah. Before oh, he works. Country. Before he works for Animal Crossing. Yeah. What's the name of the creator of Animal Crossing? It's not this guy, is no. it? It's this guy. He's the director of the game, yeah. Isn't he He's the... credited with it. Oh, is it? Yeah. Then, then, doesn't that mean he designed the game? Um, I think he directed it, but maybe someone designed it. Like, he, he's the one who, like, created the game, but I think people work for him. I yeah. see. Yeah. I cannot speak, right? <laughs> okay, next, next. Uh... Which one? Which one? 3DS, I'll buy the 3DS. Man. I think you mentioned something. Like... Yeah, Super Mario Bros. 3 is the one that you think you can use. It's all MCQ. Claudia is so nice. <laughs> Thank you, Claudia. It's okay. <laughs> okay, my next quiz shall all be open. How about that? Wow! <laughs> yes. Alright! Yes. Easy. Yeah. The last one. <laughs> Why is the name of Rogers Island? <laughs> oh, even I don't remember. Oh gosh. But, oh, wow, wow. Did you mention this just now? Oh my yes, gosh. she yeah. did. Oh, oh gosh. Uh, I, I think I do not know. <laughs> I think it's this one. Oh gosh, what is this? I think I have to take them. Random lah, like random, random. Ah, oh, oh, my system is up. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> ah, no, time's up. Okay, that that that, that was a very good pick up. Yes, yeah. I went with number two. Like Hannah always put. I do not know. I want to press press over. Time's up. Ah, yeah. Oh, so I'm still I'm still in the top with Hannah Roger. Yay. <laughs> Am I? Are you? So nice. Happy. So happy, somebody. Come on, come on. Last question. Mm. What is the oh I didn't listen. I some some why do I know this one? <laughs> why do you know that one? Because I'm make up. <laughs> Stuck with you. Uh it's called Sephora. Yeah. <laughs> this boy. Uh. <laughs> then what she said though? Just say that. Mm. No, I got it wrong. I, uh, uh, apparently, I didn't listen to that. When you mention that? <laughs> At the end. Yeah. Oh. Congratulations. Wow, Roger and who are? Roger and, uh, and me. Anna and, and me. Thank you for watching this video and we hope you learned a thing or two about Animal Crossing. Thank you, Claudia, for sharing uh, with us. Uh, love your slides. Uh, we also like to know what subjects uh, you want us to chat. Uh, so do comment, uh, give us a comment and uh, let us know. So 
Uh, Pixel Studio signing off. Take care, everyone, and bye for now. Bye.